All right. For this assignment, it is the M4 Excel final project. I'm going to go through this real briefly to help you out. So the first thing we need to do is understand what the assignment is all about. You're promoting a new product that you presented with a flyer in Module 2. Now we're getting ready to show the data on a spreadsheet from the product, product that you made in Module 2. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is go and open up a blank document in Excel. And I'm sure by now you already know how to open up Excel. So you're just going to open up a blank worksheet in Excel. Okay, no problem. Here it is, blank worksheet. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type the name of my product in cell A1. So the name of my product is Willie's Willie's Smart Answers. Okay, we I have a, a shop that provides smart answers. So that's in cell A1. In cell A2, I'm going to put my phone number. But I'm going to use my club phone number, which is 555-1212. That's my club phone number. Okay. Then in cell A3, I'm going to type my products. Okay, so I'm going to give this column a title, and I will just call it um, products. Okay. And to the right, or in cell B3, I'm going to type the months. Okay, beginning with January. And I'm going to copy the months if I grab the black cross at the little right and drag it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go all the way out to July. So I got January, February, March, April, May, July. And I'm going to put the word, I'm going to put the word average right here. A V E R A G E. Okay. So far, so good. All right. So now. In cell A4, I'm going to list the products that I'm selling. If you had lawn care, you probably have head, um, edging, you probably have weeding, whatever, lawn care, whatever you're. If you had a nail salon, you would have French nails, um, Australian nails, whatever. But my products are Smart Answers, Smart M A R T Answer, Short. Short smart answer, okay. Then I would have a medium and um, smart answer. Then I would have a long smart answer. Then I want to have um, a baby on um, smart answer. And I'll probably have. Um, Let's do one more. We'll have a teenager. Smart answer. And after your last product, in my case is smart answers, after your last product, you're going to put the word total. T O T A L. Okay, so far so good. Now, in January, how many smart answers did you give? Okay, January. I you're going to put in figures for each one of these categories. You just make up some figures. You're going to put figures in every category except for the total. So I'm just, and you're not going to put figures in the um, uh, average. So I'm just putting in figures, arbitrary figures. Um, don't think about it too much. Just put in some figures. Pretty simple. Okay, so now I have my figures in. Now, don't worry about formatting this and making it look all pretty as of yet. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to do auto sum for our totals. So, I put the cursor in the cell where you want the sum to appear and I click the word sum 
and enter. Now you don't have to do this for each month. After you get the first one in, you take the black cross at the lower right and drag it across. It fills it in automatically. Okay. Now let's go to the average for my first product. Make sure that the cursor is in the block, the cell that you want to, the results to appear. And I'm going to pull this down and find average. Then I'm going to hit enter. Once again, I'm going to copy the average for each of my, my products. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to make sure that all of our, we're going to select all our numbers and make sure that our numbers are called numbers. Okay? So they all look uniform. Alrighty. So now that we have that, this will be a great time to save this document. Okay, so I'm going to go File, Save As and I'm going to save it on the desktop. You can save it on your um, you can save it on your thumb drive but I always save mine right on the desktop so I know where it is and you're going to save it like this CIS 110 the name of your class section which is 00 whatever it is your login ID, mine is, you know, lock, lock, lock it, O C K E T T. Don't type my login ID, type yours, W1941. And then the name of the, the, um, the name of the assignment. So it's, um, M4 Excel Final. And we're just going to save that to the desktop. Okay, so now that we have it saved to the desktop, we're going to go through and look at the requirements from Blackboard. In other words, Blackboard says it has to have what? Okay. So let's look, look at the requirements. So the requirements are. Okay, so let's just find our spreadsheet here. That's it right there. Okay, so the spreadsheet, it has to um, have the spreadsheet title merged and centered. Okay, so we select the, the title. I'm going to center it between my data products and average as I have here and I'm gonna hit merge and center I'm gonna do the same thing uh, and I clicked right there that's merge and center right here okay then I select the phone number merge and center that okay so the next thing the sheet tab has to have a name so here's a sheet tab right here at the bottom I'm gonna right click the sheet tab and I'm gonna rename it I'm just gonna abbreviate Willie's smart answers WSA okay so that's that next thing we have to have some logical data which we do the numbers that's logical data so that's done okay so we have to have formatted data okay so let's go through and select the um, we're going to go through and select the um, total row and make sure that it looks like a total row. So on the styles, we're going to call it total. Okay, the heading, again, under the home on the home tab, heading, we're going to call it, we can call it title, and we'll call my phone number, we'll call that um, heading one, and we'll call the products and the dates and the average. We'll go through and call that heading two. Okay. So far, so good. 
All right, so the next thing we have to have is we have to have some cell borders. Okay, cell borders. All right. So I'm going to select all my information, excluding the titles and um, the total, and I'm going to put some cell borders. It didn't say what kind. I'm just going to say all borders. Okay. That's done. Cell borders are there. All righty. What else do you have to have? Cell borders. Okay. Field color. All right. How do you do a field color? I'm going to select by holding down the control key every other row. So I'm selecting every other row. And here's the field color right there. That's the bucket. So we go to the bucket and make those another color. Okay, what else do we have to have? That's my field color. Two types of formulas, which we have. We got average and we have total. That's done. Smart art. Okay, how do you get smart art? Okay, so to get smart art, we'll go insert. And here's smart art right here. Right there, smart art. And I'll just check one of these, select one of these boxes here. And we'll just throw this right, right here under the chart and put some text in there. We care for you. Something like that. Maybe put a little exclamation point. Okay, so that's done. So that's your that's your um, smart art. Now let's get a shape. How do you put a shape in here? Insert. Here's shapes right here. I'll just pick the triangle. And we'll just throw that in right there. Okay, so that's your shape. Alrighty, so we got our shape. Now we need an image. Okay, we need an image. So how do you get an image? Good question. We're going to go insert. I'm going to go picture online, and since I'm talking about smart answers, I'm just going to type in a brain, and we'll select that brain right there and hit insert, and there's a brain right here, so we're just going to resize a little bit by grabbing the diagonal, and we'll just put that right there, and we can cut that if we want to, uh oh, we can cut this if we want to. Okay. So we got our, we got our picture, our image. Okay. What else do we have to have? So we got an image. Now we need to put a chart in there. Okay, how do I put a chart in there? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything except for my title and my phone numbers. In other words, my products, from my products down to the total. Once that's selected, I'm going to go insert, and I'm going to insert. We can go recommended charts, and let's just pick one of these charts. I'll pick that one right there. Recommended. That's my chart. Now, what we need to do is change the title, and we just call it Willie's Chart. Okay. And you can move this around if you need to. Put it under there if you want to. It's completely up to you. Okay. So according to this, we have we have everything that's required. Okay, so we're gonna save this again. Now it's time to upload. So to upload, we go to Blackboard right here to M4 Excel Final Product Project. You hit the icon, you're going to browse my computer, and if I go to my desktop, there it is right there. Select that, open, and submit. Okay, I hope this helps you with your assignment.